Hi friends, welcome to Immigration News by Ting Law. We have important information for you on, there's another update about the USCIS furlough, if it's still going to happen or not. The House of Representatives this past Saturday on August 22nd passed a emergency stopgap bill specifically for USCIS. It doesn't provide any specific amount of funding. It actually increases the premium processing fee from $1,400 to $2,500. Now, keep in mind, this is only a piecemeal solution. It's only one small solution, but the house is still attempting to do something, so that's good. However, keep also keep in mind the Senate has to pass a version of this bill and they don't come back and they don't intend to come back from their vacation until the day after Labor Day and Labor Day is September 7th. So that's a full month vacation for them while you're waiting for your interview notice, for example. Now their USCS has reported news that they're going to furlough at the end of August, at least 67% of their workforce. So that's at least about 13,000 employees. This bill was introduced by Representative Jamie Cleaver, Representative from Missouri, also uh, Representative Zoe Lofgren, Representative from California, and Jerry Nadler, Representative from New York. This bill was also co-sponsored by a couple Republican representatives, Ken Buck from Colorado and Jeff Fortenberry from Nebraska. Keep in mind, some representatives such as Jeff Fortenberry want to get this bill passed because some of their constituents are USCIS employees. Keep in mind the premium processing fees are only collected when people file the forms I-129 and form I-140. And those are only specific to employment-based applications. 129 is based on non-immigrant temporary worker, such as H-1B or L-1 visa. Um, and also the 140 form is for those not temporary workers now applying to become permanent residents based on this employment. If this were to somehow include an opportunity for family-based, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would actually pay this fee. But I don't think this amount of increase from $1,400 to $2,500 would make a significant impact to delay any type of furlough. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I believe going from $1,400 of premium processing fee to $2,500 is not a significant amount to delay any furlough. Now in this 10 page bill, it provides three situations where they can use this extra revenue. Now, number one, that is to make infrastructure improvements to allow them to be more efficient in their processing of applications. Number two, it can use the money to respond to adjudication, meaning processing demands much sooner, where thereby reducing the number of applications if they process it faster and otherwise offset any additional costs that uh, the adjudication or processing would occur. However, keep in mind the White House has suspended premium processing before a couple of times the past two years. Now, currently it is active and people can use this extra benefit. They still have to pay for it, of course, but the bill also includes a circumstance where premium processing can be suspended. And it's saying specifically that it may suspend availability of premium processing of designated immigration benefit requests only if circumstances prevent the completion of processing of a significant number of such requests within the required period. That sounds really broad to me. Looking at the language at its face, I don't see how increased revenue from premium processing can delay an immigration officer from reviewing it timely. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit subscribe and also smash the like button. Leave a comment if you have any questions, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And we'll talk to you soon.